Let's do crystal structures. I want to do a summary first. This is all stuff you're going to have to remember somehow. It might not be given on your uh, answers. Uh, you know, on the back of the test, I mean. Okay, mass. So you, sometimes you want to calculate density. There's, you need to know the atoms per unit cell. I'll talk about that in a second. You multiply that by 1 over Avogadro's number, which is 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. So I'm just giving you the formula written out here, times the molar mass. This, you'll see the units cancel. Let's be atoms. Units will cancel so that this is going to be mass really per unit cell. So you see down there is unit cell. This here depends on structure. And this one over here, grams per mole, this depends on element. So usually they'll give you an element and that's how you know what that is. Okay, the volume, that's super easy. It's just length cubed because we're talking about parallel pipettes, which are just cubes. And if you know the length, which is the length of the side is what I mean, you can find the volume. The problem is finding the length. So here's where I'm going to give you the monster table. Uh, this will take this whole section right here to draw out. Uh, so here first I'll do the structures, and then I'll do the length, and then the volume, and then the atoms per unit cell, and then the coordination number. I won't be able to derive all these for you, but I can write them out and hopefully you can look it up or something. So the structures are simple cubic, the simple cubic, the body centered cubic, the face centered cubic, and the hexagonal closed packed. And uh, if you remember, face centered cubic is the same as closed. Uh, cubic closed packed. Okay, I'll repeat them again. Simple cubic, body centered cubic, face centered cubic, which is the same as cubic closed packed, and then hexagonal closed packed. Okay, the length is 2R. So if you know R, you can find the length. Uh, for face centered cubic, it's uh, oh, I'm skipping one. I guess I'll do body centered cubic first. For uh, body centered cubic, it's 4R over root 3. And for face centered cubic, it's R root 8. HCP we don't do, unless land was really crazy this quarter. You're probably not going to do that. So the volume, you just cube the previous column to find the volume. So that's just 8R cubed, that's this cubed, and this, okay, you just cube it. All right, good. The, so, L cubed. All right, the atoms per unit cell, this again, you'd have to know one for the simple cubic. For the body centered cubic, it's two. For the face centered cubic, it's four. And for hexagonal close pack, it's two if you need that. The last column, coordination number, that's the number of neighbors, the number of atoms directly uh, next to it. So in this case, it's 6, 8, 12, and 12. 12 is the maximum. So for the math part, if you're doing a math calculation, you will not use the coordination number. You'll use everything else. So you need to know what it is, and then you need to know the atoms per unit cell, and the uh, length, okay? And R will be given. One more thing, if you go back to the top here, something I forgot to say. You need to convert, convert to centimeters cubed here. Remember to convert mass to centimeters cubed. Usually, or whatever they want it, if they want it in meters cubed, convert to that. But usually you'll have to convert it to something. You'll see uh, when we do a problem. Let me see. I thought I had found a problem. Ah, here we go. We'll do at least... Oh, no, no. 
We'll do at least part of this. Okay, there's a lot of writing here. Uh, hey, no, just write down the numbers, okay? Just write down the numbers. So. This is, when was this? I don't know, it's a couple years ago. We'll do just part A. Part B is really repetition of it. So what you want to write down is everything having to do with polonium. So the radius, 167 picometers. The rest is just because another instructor really likes to make it wordy. Uh, and then polonium has a simple cubic structure. Now here we're really nice. We gave you one atom per unit cell. I, w I wouldn't expect that. You'd have to figure out the number of atoms per unit cell. And uh, yeah, that, that's all. You just need those two numbers. So make sure you wrote down the 167 for the radius. It's polonium. We'll have to look up polonium on this table here behind us, uh, on the periodic table. And then you'll need to know it's simple cubic. Okay, here we go. What? <laughs> There's nothing to write down. 167. Okay, 167. Simple cubic. And polonium. That's it. Okay. Let me get my blank here. That's all you need. No, I'm serious. That's all you need. Okay, you all get worked up. It's okay. Polonium, 167 picometers, and a simple cubic. All right, so to find the density, you say it's mass over volume. The mass is the number of atoms per unit cell. For simple cubic, it's one atom per unit cell, then you multiply by Avogadro's number, really the inverse of it, atoms per unit cell, uh, not per unit, per mole, and then you multiply by the molar mass of polonium, so you got to look up on your periodic table and find it, uh, let's see what, polonium is, it's like 209. Uh, 209 grams per mole. A little radioactive, so I don't know if you'd want to use it for an anchor, but that's not what I asked about. So, uh, okay, so the mass uh, is just this. Let me see if uh, we didn't find the mass individually. The volume would be the length cubed, and all you'd have to know is what L is. It's 2r, I just told you that from the table, 2r cubed. So we'll go 2 times 167 picometers cubed. Now you'll have to do a conversion on that. Oh, let me zoom out a little bit. That's a little crazy zoomed in. We'll have to do a conversion. 2 times uh, 167 picometers. I want to change this to centimeters cubed. So... I know that, well, what do we know? One picometer, how many uh, centimeters? Or how many meters? Let's do two meters. One meter is 10 to the 12, I think, for picometers. Uh, so that changes to meters. Remember to cube this, because it's picometers cubed. And then I'll just do centimeters next. 100 centimeters, remember to cube that. So this is volume. All, right, all that mess. You just take mass divided by volume. And we got 9.32 grams per centimeter cubed. Other part of the problem was just to find that the same density of platinum, same method. Okay, any questions on this? Hopefully, uh, it feels like a plug and chug a little bit. Once you know the stuff and the table, it's plug and chug. <laughs>